what's the best kept secret on the internet? A certain service station slash fuel company in Australia has a phone app that lets you lock in the price of fuel at your closest fuel station for a week. People have found various ways to lock in the price of fuel at any of their stores in Australia, against the TOS, giving you huge discounts if your local fuel servos are expensive slash at the top of the cycle. For example, if fuel in Brisbane is $1.70 and it's $1.20 in Melbourne, you'd pay as if you're in Melbourne, saving you 50 C slash L. Edit. Can I mention to all the people saying it's theft, that I don't personally do this, and the people that do aren't really committing theft because they're still paying for the product. Everything automated in any of Google's products. They're based on algorithms that are given certain goals and learn over time what maximizes those goals most efficiently. Because it's just allowed to run and learn on its own, the only things that are easily measurable are the inputs and outputs and nothing in between, which means even the developers don't fully know how most of these things work. It's such a well-kept secret that it's virtually impossible for any human to know it. Probably the most well-known example is the YouTube recommendation algorithm, but it also applies to search results, ads, and other things. Technically, every best-kept secret can be easily found on one website. Go ahead and search the Library of Babel. It's an online library that contains every and any combination of the English alphabet, without special characters, it's not procedurally generated. If you search a sentence it will specifically bring up the hex, shelf, volume, and page that contains that specific sentence. Your whole life story is in that library, your death and birth, your wedding or divorce. All of you have to do is look for it. It's like pi, but with letters. This guy's story, https colon slash slash www. Reddit. Com slash r slash relationship underscore advice slash comments slash a seven woy five slash girlfriend underscore of underscore three underscore years underscore f two four underscore ditched underscore me underscore m two five underscore on underscore a slash utm underscore medium equals android underscore app and utm underscore source equals share holy fucking hell I want to know what happened. Basically they have been married for a while. Then on a date out of the blue she gets a waiter to hand a note to her husband saying I'm sorry. She disappeared, then in the middle of the night or the next morning she gets home and goes straight to bed. Then he says he is going to let her rest on Reddit and update later. Fucking hell, never updated. Like this is the number one fucked up problem with Reddit. HTTPS colon slash slash sci-hub. Org slash publishes free scientific journals such as the Agriculture and Biology Journal of North America. The belief in information in science not being hidden behind paywalls. There is another site by them where you search for a specific article using the DOI of the article, you can also give the URL you found the article on, and they will unlock it for you. It's technically piracy but it's more activism in their eyes. I won't link it here though you can find it easily enough. Amazing resource for university students looking for primary sources for their work and thesis if they need something specific and can't get access to it. Their slogan is, removing barriers on the way to knowledge. So, this is exactly what I've tried to describe to people, but with a much worse and complicated example. Within the irrationality of pi, there exists an unending and ever-changing sequence of numbers. One could posit that if you convert the alphabet into a base 26 system with numbers to match the English alphabet in A A equals 1, B equals 2, C equals 3 fashion, then one could assume that every letter, novel, magazine, sentence, etc. can be found within pi, on a long enough timeline, infinity. Then one could say that pi could be the symbol for everything within the universe. Not terribly hidden but https colon slash slash sci dash hub. TW slash is sticking it to scientific journal industry. Generally speaking the research we pay for via taxes and written up by scientists is locked up behind paywalls by the journal publishers. They want people to pay to access the results of research we already paid for. SciHub install a browser extension that will upload any paper they download from the journal publishers. This creates a free repository of knowledge unencumbered by a third party attempting to monetize it. Not strictly legal but the only people who are upset by this are publishers that did not pay for research. I'm okay with that. 
what Cicada 3301 actually is. Back in January, 2012, Cicada 3301, a nickname given to an unknown organization launched their first test. Their tests are puzzles that, once completed, allow access onto the next test. For two years after January 4, 2012, on the exact same day, they released more tests. Some of these still haven't been cracked to this day. No one knows what Cicada 3301 is, what they do or why they do it. The reason for the tests is to recruit intelligent individuals from the general public. As no one has cracked the puzzles, I'm presuming they haven't recruited anyone. That violent revolution is the only way to actually overthrow oppressive regimes. It's a secret in plain sight but forced out of perception based on many sites, including this one's, rules against inciting violence. They aren't bad rules, they prevent liability for the website. But due to these rules, no one talks about the real solution. It's all just look at these brave protesters, a bunch of people accomplishing nothing and probably being imprisoned or dying for it because they never thought to actually arm and protect themselves. The violence before Morocco's independence. Relatives even tell me that it led to 500k people dead, I've been told that it's the reason my grandmother didn't get to go to school, yet I find very little on the internet about it. My father says that it's because France and the Alawite dynasty covered up their crimes well. I have no idea if my relatives are exaggerating or if it's truly one of the best cover-ups of the 20th century. In that case it is our equivalent of the Tiananmen Square Massacre.